Hi Inhotters! Do you ever push yourself to do things out of your comfort zone? Well, I did when I started three weeks ago. Then I started to walk again. And I know that sounds a little bit silly, but walking isn't the usual thing to do for me. Because I have lipedema. It's a condition where as you accumulate excess fat in your arms and legs and it's not known for what the cause of it is. And no, I barely eat something, so it's definitely not that I put excessive amounts of food in. In fact, I barely eat anything, but that's another story. They think lipedema is related to a simmering state of infection. And due to that, I have a lot of pain and I am slowly losing the muscle strength and eventually a lot of patients end up in a wheelchair. My great grandmother ended up in bed the last years of her life. Due to the dysmorphing of my body, the inflammation, the pain and the disability, I can't even have a proper job at the moment, I am prone to get depressions. That's also part of the condition. I have had several depressions during my life. It's hard to be a very active person, but to be in a body that withholds you to be the person you actually want to be. I'm not telling you to get any stories for it, I'm just telling you my story. The lipedema has also got me into a strange relationship with nature. Don't get me wrong, I love nature. I love mountains, I love wide views, I love deserts, beautiful sightseeing. I just wished I could do the walking. That is so often needed to have the views or the watch of the stunning waterfalls. But walking hurts and I can barely get a hold of my breath. Also one of the symptoms. The whole hurting thing has taken over a big part of my life. I guess that's why I felt so good when Covid was around, because nobody was allowed to go anywhere, so I didn't feel any fear of missing out. And I stayed at home, as everybody else did. But now slowly everyday life has gotten back on track and I'm still bound to my house a lot because I can barely walk. And it is so annoying. So then a couple of weeks ago I suddenly realized I need to try to change my habits and I need to try to start to get moving again. And I know I can do this when I set myself to it. For instance, I stopped nail biting after 40 years of it and I quit drinking after almost 30 years. So I know I can be strong. And the idea of a wheelchair is very scary. So I feel kind of, if I don't do it now, I won't do it ever. So I found a program online that helps me to build up my walking. And slowly, as in taking it five minutes at a time when I started, and now I'm on week three and I walk three times a day, 15 minutes. Not every day, but every other day. I feel so much better and I love to be outside and I'm looking forward to go to the beach soon. That's kind of my goal that I set for now, to make a good long and nice stroll along the beach. When I set myself to something like that, I absolutely feel terrified that I might not make it or that I will fail. But I also feel good by doing something that is outside my box. Pushing your own boundaries is quite energizing. Today I created some gel prints and did some mark making on them and I will use these for making little sachets for my soap business. 
When I started my small business, it was all about being as sustainable as possible. And one thing I really don't like about shopping is the utmost amount of packaging that we all get over the place. So there I was, having a small business, very little money, and then I came up with an idea. What if I would use old papers to create my bags? So it took some time to make something nice, and that's how I started to turn old papers into monoprinted bags. And as I now like to experiment with monoprints in my Archie journey, I'll, and I like to do some mark making, I love to make the little pieces of art. Every customer also gets always a little card from me with a quote or an affirmation. I know there are some customers who are even collecting them. I love to see happy people. I love to make them smile and I learned to tame my inner critic. If, and if you would like to learn that too, you can listen to this video up here. I love to create and to be able to use this for my business is a plus. I like to make happy things because that makes me happy. I hope I can be an inspiration to you and I hope you will create something today to make yourself smile, even when it doesn't turn out to be something you wanted. Well, that's all for today. I wish you a lovely day, enjoy the little things and a big hug from me.